Hi, and welcome back to lesson three on quantum mechanics for quantum communication. This lesson will be expanding on what we learned in the previous lesson, and it will deal with pure and mixed states. And finally, in this lesson, we will get into real-world description of real uh, quantum states. So let's begin. In step one, we will talk about the noisy world. Uh, up until now, we have only talked about quantum states which were noiseless. That means they were always in the exact state uh, that we wanted them to be. It means we had full knowledge of the state. There was no uncertainty in our knowledge of the description of the state. But of course, the real world is a noisy place. So this description is not quite sufficient for real world applications. We can, for example, consider state preparation. You may go to your friend who works in a quantum laboratory and you ask, ask him or her, could you please prepare this state psi? That's usually the case. We have some uh, state that we um, desire to create, so we try to do our best to do it. But in fact, what happens in a real lab is that the prepared state is not the desired state psi. It's some other state psi prime, if you are lucky. But most of the time, even this is not the case. Because if we just prepare another uh, state psi prime, it means we have full knowledge of this state. But I said that due to noise, this is not the case. And in fact, we have imperfect knowledge of the state. So usually what happens is that our, our friend in the laboratory prepares some distribution of states. He prepares a uh, cat psi 1 with some probability p1, some cat psi 2 with another probability p2, and so on and so forth. Another example uh, is processing of information. And this is a very similar idea. You may go to uh, uh, your friend who has a quantum computer, and even if they are able to prepare the exact ideal initial state, you ask them to uh, apply some unitary, which represents uh, your uh, processing of information process. But again, this is not the case. The output of the computation will not be the unitary, ideal unitary applied to the ideal input. And this is due to some coherent errors. So these coherent errors may be Pauli x, Pauli y, Pauli z. They could be unitary errors, which do not represent the desired uh, um, computation, but some other computation. But also you may suffer from incoherent errors, which are not even unitaries. These could be relaxation of your qubits, uh, and so on and so forth. And another example from the real world is in quantum communication. Here, what you try to do is you prepare some state psi and you try to communicate it to your friend who lives on the other side of a very long optical fiber. But again, optical fibers are not perfect. So uh, the state that your friend receives at the other end is not the desired state psi. It's some other state where either it can undergo coherent errors, so again, uh, represented by some Pauli matrices, or some incoherent errors that uh, uh, represent your decoherence, uh, amplitude damping, relaxation of your qubits. But also what can happen is that your friend does not receive anything at all. And this is due to attenuation in the fiber. This means you send your qubit, but the qubit never, never arrives. So, how do we describe all of these scenarios? How do we uh, create a new formalism for describing such quantum states? and particularly how do we deal with these effects. Let's find out. 